Appropriately, dragon's tongue. <laughs> Cause you've got a dragon's tongue. Uh, something like that. Oh. Keep your feet shoulder width and stay light on your feet. Well, there's Patsy. I can't say as I have anything I want him to taxidermy right at the moment. Hey. Uh, besides, we've got. What's his nuts in Valkyries to deal with? <laughs> What's his nuts? What was his name? Reinhardt? I think so. That sounds right to me. Luckily, it's not too far to Falkreath. Gods, really? It's spring! How is it snowing in spring? Heh. <laughs> Welcome to Skyrim. Uh, no kidding, I guess. Hey, Fox. That... That fox isn't running. I'm... You're a confusing little beastie. You know that, right? Did you take down that big moose elk thing? <laughs> moose? I don't know. Probably a smart idea to move rapidly away. Because we don't know what killed that. And I don't really want to find out. We might. Uh, thanks. Snuck up my left. Eh. It's fine. See, this is why you've got us around for. And Lydia. Which... I don't know where she went. Yeah, I don't either. I'm gonna have to go find her, I think. <laughs> What, you miss having someone to adjust your straps? I... Th I... <laughs> no comment from me. I don't know what I could possibly add to that. That's probably for the best. Lydia's my house, Carl. And, frankly, I don't think we get along well enough for that. I don't know, you seem like you get along fine to me. Eh. I mean, we get along fine, but... I don't know. Do I have a type? Maybe I have a type. <laughs> I find it kind of funny. Hmm? You and Arden are kind of the same, except for you're all on opposite teams, so to speak. Yeah. How... How do you know? I've, I've, I've never actually mentioned anything about... That? Well, because, I mean, you're kind of obvious about it. Oh. Am I? A wee bit. I see the way you look at Sienna. <laughs> she looks at Sienna like she hates her. I wouldn't go that far. Alright, you look at Sienna like she's a mild annoyance. Yeah, that's more accurate. Well, to be fair, Sienna is kind of a mild annoyance. Sometimes. Hey, that's fair. Oh, wow. 
Ooh. What are you all wowing about? Well, I think this is my first time seeing Falkreath in the spring and it's just so green. Hey. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... Right. He owns the mill, so he's probably up in here somewhere, right? That would be my guess. And the sun's coming out. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Always good to see a blue day in Skyrim. And I hear there are uh, up to... Hmm. Don't worry, I heard it too. Yeah. Great. Duty calls, I guess. Loudly and... There's a bridge. Good. Loudly and from a distance. I hear you. Don't see you. Who knows? Alright, let's see what this Reinhardt guy is about. Oh! Excuse me. Excuse us. Are you... by chance Reinhardt? Cuz, uh... Marcus Janus sent us to check up on his lumber. Marcus Janus? Ah, yes. The fella from Cor. Well... Tell him we're short-handed on out right now, but we're getting to him as quickly as we can. Boland has injured his back and he's convalescing, so I don't have anyone to work the mill. <laughs> I'm trying to hire more help, but I haven't had any luck. If you want your lumber any faster, you'll have to saw the logs yourself. Then I can send them to be cut into your lumber. Let's see now. Looks like his first order would be roughly 15 timbers. So, that should get you started. Uh, I, I mean, we could do that, but just so we're clear, you want us to saw the logs that we already paid you for. Did we already pay him? I, I think that's why Marcus sent us here in the first place. No one has paid me anything in full. I was only paid a deposit. But I can adjust the final price to reflect your sweat equity. I will make sure you get a fair price, given the nature of my current situation. Like I said, it's only 15 logs. It won't take any time. Hey... That better be a big discount. Did Marcus say something about Riverwood looking for contracts? Oh, yeah, and I know the... Smith the Smith. Not the Smith. I know, uh, Gerder, actually. And Rayloff, so... I bet they could give us an even bigger discount. Oh, no need to get hasty. I'll make it worth your while. Good. Well, I... <sighs> Time to go saw logs, I guess. This should be fun. You know... Uh... You probably shouldn't be the one actually lifting the logs, cause... What? You think I'm too old and frail to do it? Um... <laughs> I mean, you're probably right. My back has seen better days. Hey, and besides, you've got two... Uh, I wouldn't say strapping, but... You know, to a hearty and able young woman. Ah. That's gonna get fun, isn't it? What are you mumbling about? Ah, just thinking about stuff. Well, we've got permission to use the mill. 
Uh, hi? What are you doing down there? Right. Have either of you ever used a mill before? Uh, not one like this. Hmm, so Reinhardt finally found someone who will work for free. Nice. I'll tell you that man has no shame. Eh, uh, what do you mean, work for free? Since my cousin Boland has been down on his back, I came to fill in for him, but I haven't been paid in weeks. He hasn't paid you? Why? That's... okay. That's against labor laws in at least one country that I know of. Why hasn't he paid you? I have an idea, but can't prove it. I've probably said too much already. Hey, you better get to work. Those logs aren't going to saw themselves. Ah... Uh, I mean, true. But, I mean... If Reinhardt hasn't been paying you, that doesn't mean we can't. I mean... Hey. I think between the three of us, we could get you a handy, uh... What is the word I'm looking for? I think you're looking for the word wage. That is the word I'm looking for, yes. What did you have in mind? Uh... I don't know. What seems fair, like a thousand gold or thereabouts? Very well. Honest gold for honest work. I'll take it. Right. While you're here, what exactly is going on with Reinhardt? Well, I can tell you Bolund is not down on his back. He has said that because he and I both refuse to work for free. Oh. That damn Reinhardt keeps gambling away all our money. Oh. Ah, great. What kind of gambling are we talking about here? It's that damn fight cave. He's addicted to it. He lost all his money gambling on those damn fights. Boland tried to tell me, but I wouldn't listen. He doesn't have any money to pay me for my work, so I ain't working until he can pay me. You'll have to ask Reinhardt about it if you want to know any more, but don't tell him I said anything. I'll deny it. That's all I can tell you. Understood. You ever know anything about a... Nope. Right. This sounds like fun. Gambling on fights, it sounds like to me. Which, you know, that's not the kind of thing I would have expected to find in Skyrim. Back home? Maybe. Not here. Yeah, I don't know anything about Morrowind, so... Eh. Uh, people do illegal things whenever they can get away with it. Although I don't actually know if it's illegal in Skyrim. Uh, you know, that's... That's a good point. Hold on. I think... No, I don't know Skyrim that well either, now that I think about it. What is it, Red God? Ah, just... That looks like... hard work. I didn't realize that's how those mills worked. Have you never seen a mill before? I... well, not... in use. And I'm... I've seen different styles of mill. Anyway! Things are different here. Uh, hi. Sorry to intrude again. But, uh... Could, uh... Could you tell us what this fight cave is about? Gah! Those cousins! Always running off at the mouth. Roland doesn't know what in oblivion he's talking about. He said he's willing to work, you just haven't paid him. He did say that. Said the same about Boland as well. Ah, damn blubbermouth. Just can't keep his mouth shut. I'm sorry I lied to you. You had me trapped and I didn't know what to do. 
But say, maybe you can help me out of this problem, Mummy. Ah, uh, we didn't have you trapped. Ah, uh, I don't know. Three big warriors, well, big-ish warriors in heavy armor. I think we look kind of intimidating. Why should we help you, speaking of intimidating? Because, unless you do, it could be weeks before the rest of your lumber for Hogan is delivered. Roland is right. I'm broke and I can't pay anyone for the work. Okay. And what about the deposit? What happened to it? Lost it. Gone. Went on a bad run in the fight cave. But that is where you can help me. I take my last bit of gold and bet on you. You fight and win enough times, and I'll get my money back, and you keep your winnings from the pit. I... do any of us look like the kind to fight? Like... in a... It, what is this fight cave anyway? It's like an arena. Men fight, people bet, try to win money. The fighters are paid if they win. If they lose, well, you know. So you fight to the death? Exactly. No need to tell you the rules. There aren't any. The only exception is, the fights are between men, Mur, or Khajiit only. And of course, the occasional orc. But no creatures, giants, or the like are allowed in the pit. Only the civilized races. Beyond that, wear any armor, use any weapon or magic you like, and fight to the death. Ah. To the death. You know, the only. the one and only time that I have ever seen a functioning arena in my life was in Dragonstar, and they don't even fight to the death. Why. how do you expect any of us to get in? You have to have a recommendation. Take this letter to Goro. It's from a friend of mine in Cyrodiil. It was for another fight of it met and. Untimely end. So don't ask any questions about it. You'll find the cave a little ways down the west road heading out of town. One last thing. We must have no further contact until all this is over. Once I get my money back, I'm done with that pit for good. That's what they all say. You may return to see me then. But if you try to talk to me in the cave, I will act like I don't know you. I'll speak with you again later. I don't know about this. And if you double cross us, believe me, you won't have to worry about the mill anymore. Hey, 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 calm down. You don't think I know that? I just want to get back on my feet and I'm done with that place. That was quite possibly the scariest thing I've ever heard you say. I kind of meant it. <sighs> right. So... We know you're not gonna do it. What, do you think any of us are going to fight in this damn... Fight cave? We're not pit wolves. Yeah, fair. I'll do it. You'll do no such thing. Well, I mean, come on, I'm... well... strong, and... I mean... I can't shout, but... I've fought worse than a couple of, like, mercenary, fightery, bandity types. You'll get yourself killed if it's a fight to the death. Why don't we just take our business to Riverwood? Or... you know work for free as much as I would rather not. Yeah, that's a bad idea too. Come on. Uh... What the... Oh, okay. Don't mind me, I'm just seeing things wandering around on the hills back there. I don't think it's a good idea, Morgood. 
You don't even have a shield. Then I don't need a shield. And I don't think we can all fight together, can we? Oh, great. Oh, great. Here, you know what? You two go deal with that dragon. I'll go deal with the fight cave. I don't mind being a pit hound. You... I'd rather you not, and I think Yarnvita would rather you not as well. I had rather none of us do it, but... Come on. I mean... You're all... You know... People who've done something. Gran's the Harbinger, you're the Dragonborn. The test is... I don't know what she's doing, but... Arden's the Archmage, and... Well... Ingrath is Ingrath. All of you have done something. I want to do something, you know? Like, and I don't really care if it's making m a name for myself in a place where I gotta, you know, punch a few noses in. I'll just not do it in this armor, obviously, because I don't really want to be associating that with the Dawn Guard, because that would be dumb. I've not really ever made a name for myself, and I kind of want to make you all proud. Mordgut, I'm plenty proud already. You took down pirates, you fought in a civil war, you've done enough. I understand, though. I get it. Alright, yeah. You... You know what? What? She's my granddaughter. I And I'm not a kid anymore. Yeah, she's not a kid anymore. Alright, fine. Okay, we'll go deal with the dragon. You go deal with the fight cave. Alright. I'm gonna go head back to Helgen first, see if I can... See if I... Sorry, I'm... I'm all emotional now. See if I can't scrape up enough armor that isn't this, that I can not associate that with me, and see what I can do. We'll catch back up, and I won't die, I promise. Good. If you do, I'll have Arden bring you back just so that I can smack you myself. I don't think he's a necromancer, but... Yeah, you be careful, okay? I will be very careful. I'll see you around. I don't think that was a good idea. Well, she's old enough to decide for herself. Ah, she is that. And she has done everything that they said she's done. She's fought in the war, she's... run around with the Dawn Guard, killing vampires. She's... fought the dark side, killing dragons. Yeah. So... Speaking of dragons... Where... Sorry, took the long way around. Oh, there he is. Speaking of dragons, let's go kill that one. Right. 
should be safe tonight. Which is good. Okay. Do kind of wish I wasn't doing this alone. On the other hand, I'd rather not uh, make anyone else deal with it. Was I followed? Don't think so. They don't hear any more dragons, which means Kinoa took care of it. Okay. Whew. Deep breath. Let's do it. I'm a gladiator. Or something. Totally not completely out of place. At all. Hello. Uh. Blue room. Let's do that. I don't know what that is. It's literally a cave. Alright. Cage. Also cage. Alright. Cool. Fun. Bunks. Dummies. Uh, not you. <laughs> oh dear. I think I might have gone the wrong way. To the cage! You know, I kind of like this even better than the Dawn Guard armor. I like the red pants. Shame I couldn't find different gloves though, but I suppose I've sort of worn these in, so. Not a bad deal. Ah, right. Hello. Are you g uh girl? Uh I'm here to fight. Here's my recommendation letter. I know I don't look like much, but I come highly recommended. Let's see. From Rolfstone, Heart of Bruma. Haven't seen him in months. Please tell him not to be a stranger when you speak to him. My, he was an impressive warrior in his day, but age eventually catches us all, I suppose. Between you and me, I heard he killed dozens of those Eldmiri bastards during the Great War. Well then, if you're a friend of his, you are certainly welcome here. Go down through the passage underneath here and see Wiglof down in the blue room. He'll get you started. And, uh, don't get yourself killed, okay? Hey, well... I'll do my best. I've got people waiting. Uh, I mean... Well, you know. Bet fighters come in with all sorts of stories, don't they? <laughs> anyway, thanks for the tip. Mm. Wiglaf. What a name. Am I supposed to laugh at his wig? No, that's not. <laughs> uh. Nordse. Does sort of feel good to be doing this without Grand though. Much as I love her to bits. Sometimes I just want to do things on my own, you know? So, uh. <laughs> sorry about the dummies comment. I've been told that you're probably Wiglaf. Wig, wig, wig. We love. Yeah, that's the one. A uh, girl told me to see you. I'm actually a fighter. Sort of. I will be. I hope. Hmm. You think you got what it takes to make it in the pit? We have Myrmidon matches going on right now. It just so happens I have an opening on the blue team. All pit dogs start as challengers to our Myrmidon level fighters. Ah. Uh... 
So where are the goats? <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, be my guest. Either way, everyone starts in the blue team and proves themselves from there. Prepare yourself, and let me know when you're ready to fight. Well, I'm prepared, I think. What about my pay? Well, you have to live first. <laughs> but each Myrmidon match pays 250 gold at the cage. Report to Goru after each fight for your earnings. If you're ready to fight again, come see me. Of course. Well, uh, let's hope this goat has horns, eh? Well, I did come here to fight, and um, ready to fight. I uh, hope you don't mind the big glowing sword. I hope that's not against the rules. Very well. Your first match will be against a particularly nasty orc with an enchanted mace. Well, that's fire. He's a big brute and can take a hit, so be on your toes. Follow me. Okay, fair enough. Enchanted oop, running. Enchanted weapons against enchanted weapons. Makes sense. Oh dear. Blue banner. Ah, uh, okay. Headgear on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting round of action that... in the fight cave. That's not Tom, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Definitely yeah. not. Your first fighter. You know him and you love him. Madden. Hailing from Markarth <laughs> by way of the Dragon Tail Mountains. Let's have a big round of applause for your favorite Green Myrmidon, Mork the Fearful! Mork? And for your challenger, today we have a new pet dog from the blue team! Hailing from parts unknown, <laughs> please welcome your challenger! Ew! <laughs> well, this is gonna be fun. Okay. And so, we have two fighters, full of rage, and ready to do <laughs> battle. <laughs> two warriors have entered this pit, but only one warrior will lead. Two warriors enter! One warrior leave! <laughs> Two warriors enter! One warrior leaves! Oh, this is gonna be good. Two warriors enter! One warrior leaves! Your wagers have been placed, and you're ready for war! Let's find out who- I'm gonna just do... that. Well, that. will be victorious! Let the match begin! Oh. Well, that was quick. And there we have it. A devastating mauling by our challenger. Let's hear it for the new pit dog. <laughs> Ooh. We'll have another match coming soon, so don't go away. Let's see if this challenger from the blue team can keep it up. Okay. That was, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm guessing from the booze that they were expecting a bit more of a, you know, a show, which, uh, to be fair, to be fair, I was sort of expecting that to be more of a show myself, because I've gotten lost. Anyway, uh, hey, right, I'm supposed to see Goro, Goro, go, go, whatever the guy's name is. There are some absolutely smashed bastards up there. They are completely 
and orderly. Piss drunk. And to be fair, I'm not much to look at, except maybe for the tattoos, but you know. <laughs> uh. So, uh, I seem to have lived and also disappointed the crowd a little bit. Should be fine, right? Uh, I did live. Oh yes, you certainly earned this. 250 gold for a Myrmidon match. Well done. Thanks. Now there's just one thing, Challenger. We need you to choose a name so we can put on the cards for any more matches you fight in. Please see Wigloff and decide what you want to call yourself, will you? Uh, hmm. I did say I wanted to make a name for myself. I didn't think it'd be that literal. But uh, thanks. Thanks for the tip and the pay. Oi. Do I want to call myself? I suppose I could do something wild like take my clan name. <laughs> Straight up call myself Zainab. Or Ashlander, I suppose. That'd be a cool name. I'm not really an Ashlander, but you know. Crow is? I could call myself. Nah. That'd be weird. How about... Dawnbreaker? Uh, so, uh... Girl mentioned something about picking a name. I've been sort of brainstorming while I was coming down. But, uh... I'll have to think of something better than the two that I came... The three, the couple that I came up with. You really surprised a lot of people out there, Pit Dog. You fought well, or at least well enough. Uh, well. Most pit dogs don't make it through a Myrmidon match. But you, you might be special. Got an eye for that sort of thing. Time will tell. So, yes. What do we call you? Mmm. Eh, uh, the Frosty Maiden sounds kind of like a ship. I could call myself Dragonborn, but I'm not. Uh, skull Crusher. You know what? I've got a big glowing sword. I am. Um, you can't let's go with Blade Master. It's kind of you know generic and uh, not not very spicy, but I like it. I think Blade Master works. Very well, Pit Dog. You will now be known as Blade Master. Prepare yourself and let me know when you're ready to fight. I. I, uh. I think you've got the right idea. And the idea is food first, fight later. <laughs> Oi. And get, you know, a bit of the shakies out. Whew. Blade Master.